Hey guys, what's up? Time for another fragrance review to keep my channel active. I'm going to do some Biochilium fragrances, and I'm going to do four of them today. So I'm going to try to bust out a lot, give uh, some reviews, impressions. And before I get right into it, I'd like to say I do think that the Biochilium stuff is too expensive. So if anyone has, I know some people like the whole cough and stuff like that. I don't really care for it myself, although I do like the travel atomizers. I do think those are pretty cool, but in general, I don't really... I do think it's pretty overpriced. So <laughs> let's just talk about some of them, get that right out of the way. The first one I'm going to do is um, Straight to Heaven, one of the more popular ones, probably the most popular with Back to Black, I think, honestly. So the top notes are Musk, Jasmine, um, Patchouli, Cedar, and Amber, and the bottom notes are Nutmeg, Vanilla, um, Rum, and Dried Fruits. Now, like I said, this is one of the more popular ones, and I would like to say some people say, say that the Back to Black is the sexy fragrance from By Killian. In my opinion, I actually think Straight to Heaven is more sexy, I think, in my opinion, if that makes sense. Um, I think they both smell good. I kind of think that Back to Black smells better, but I don't think Back to Black is very... Again, I don't really like the word sexy, but let's say sexy. I don't think Back to Black is that sexy, even though Back to Black is like has like aphrodisiac on the bottle or whatever. I mean, to me personally... <clears throat> Sorry to clear my throat. I do not think it's that sexy of a fragrance myself, but Straight to Heaven, I do think, is a sexy, manly smelling fragrance. Um, I would compare Straight to Heaven if a uh, if Carolina Herrera's uh, 212 VIP Men, or is it VIP 212? I think it's 212 VIP Men. If that is your drunk friend that still smells good at the end of the night like that's how i would compare that like imagine to a vip man is imagine you have a drunk friend because there's a very strong alcohol note on that fragrance and that's like your drunk friend who just happens to smell good this is your friend who has been like drinking but he's like your older friend and he's like not drunk like he holds his alcohol much better and he's like let's say hmm. Like it's very like it is a very manly and I will say kind of old smelling fragrance in my opinion. Like imagine if you had a a very manly looking dude, like not a lumberjack looking dude, but he's definitely manly. And imagine he's like in a um, imagine he's like in the forest or something like that, but he's wearing like a suit and he's been drinking. Like visually, that doesn't make any sense that he's in the forest, right? But like imagine like scent wise, because I do think that this is a very um. And it's a very fallish kind of smelling fragrance. Like, I know some people really like that. Uh, Burberry's London. Uh, sorry, Burberry's London. They say that's like a fall in a bottle kind of fragrance, right? Like, I think this is kind of like this is fall in a bottle, almost like niche version. Like, this smells very fallish. <laughs> I don't know if that's a. I don't know if that's really a word, but you know, bear with me here. But yeah, I mean, it's a very, very masculine, very, a very strong alcohol note. And because of that, I think it's actually can be kind of off-putting because I do think it smells kind of old, actually. And I would be hesitant to wear this around my younger friends, actually. Um, I don't think it's, I don't think it's fun smelling. Does that make sense? I, I do think it's sexy, but it's not fun smelling like VIP men. But again, very strong alcohol note. I do think you will smell like you've been drinking. Um... I do think it smells pretty good, personally, um, but, okay, like, performance-wise, I know some people say that they get performance issues with this one. Um, it's not very strong for me, but longevity-wise, it works fine for me. I get, you know, like I do most by killings, like, 10 hours. Um, and actually, that almost might be good in a way, because for some reason, when I spray a lot of this on, I think it's kind of, it bothers my stomach. Like, I think it's an okay smell. Like, I, I don't think it's bad but it's just something if I get if I get in too many whiffs of this at once it makes me a little sick to my stomach even though I think it smells good um so hopefully that makes sense if you got what I'm saying so if it was stronger I don't know if I could wear it um I would actually compare this to and I know people probably aren't gonna won't get what I'm saying here maybe but if you've ever smelled a Ventus um if you have like if you've worn a Ventus and you get some on your clothes and then the next day you smell like the after effects of Aventus. It kind of reminds me of Straight to Heaven, like the on clothes, I'm saying. Aventus on clothes kind of reminds me of uh, the day, the very long dry down of Aventus on clothes. Kind of reminds me of Straight to Heaven in a way. It's got that same kind of woodsy, the same way the vanilla works for me in that woods. It kind of, 
they don't smell the same, but they kind of remind me of each other. But yeah, it's very um, a very alcohol, the kind of like sexy man kind of fragrance. Well, let me get into compliments for this one though. again because just because I touched upon it being a sexy fragrance and um, you know, back to black, they say is the sexy one. Again, I think this is the sexy one, and I will say, um, this is for girls that I know that are into fragrances. This is actually one of the more talked about good compliment getters in terms of, you know, what girls tend to like. I mean, I would actually say, um, just because I'm on the subject of by Killian, again, I would say Straight to Heaven is number one, then Back to Black, and uh, actually Intoxicated. I hear girls tell me they like Intoxicated, which kind of uh, surprises me a little bit. Not that I don't think it smells good, because I do think it smells good, but it kind of surprises me. The girls that are in the fragrance, they like Intoxicated as well, and they like Bamboo Harmony, which I honestly don't remember what Bamboo Harmony smells like offhand, but in terms of girls that like fragrances, that know fragrances, I actually do have many girls I know that tell me they like Straight to Heaven on guys. And I even have had, um, I have gotten compliments on it. I have not worn it a lot because I do think it smells old. And um, I don't want to smell old. I mean, I don't think it smells, it doesn't smell old. It smells mature, let's say, maybe. It, but I do think it smells old and I would be hesitant to wear this around my younger friends when I hang out just because you kind of smell like you've been drinking. I mean, it smells good, but again, I do get compliments on this though when I've worn it. I don't wear it a ton though because of that and because it's fucking expensive as hell. And I will say, I mean, I actually have had girls, one girl told me she said it's the best fucking thing she's ever smelled before. I have actually had girls tell me that before. So kind of surprising to me because I do think it smells old, but I will say again, the girls that are in the fragrances, and when I have gotten compliments on this, it has been from a older demographic, okay? I am not getting, like, compliments from high school girls when I wear Straight to Heaven, okay? So, but I mean, you know, they might like it, though. I mean, I just don't, personally, inside, I feel a little uncomfortable because I know I can think I smell old when I wear it, so. Do you know what I'm saying? Nice smelling fragrance, though, okay? There you go. So, again, imagine a good-looking dude in a forest for some reason that's been drinking. That's what I think about this. But he actually isn't drunk because he holds his liquor well. Does that make sense? Okay. So the next one, I'm going to do Love by Killian. Okay, this is the marshmallow one. Top notes are an aroli, um, bergamot, pink pepper, coriander. The middle notes are iris, um, jasmine, um, rose. Honeysuckle and orange blossom, and the base notes are musk, vanilla, civet, or civet, however you say it, caramel, sugar, and labdulum. So this is the um, obviously the marshmallow fragrance, and I want to talk about mar for well. Let me get into compliments, just because I'm talking about compliments now. I know some people say that this is a lady killer fragrance, and I will say when I when I wear love, and I do think this smells good. Spoiler alert! I think love when I wear it, it's kind of a fragrance that it's a kind of um. I get comments like, you smell good, but do I want a man to smell like that kind of like, or do you want to smell like that because it's so foody, okay? So I would just, just to get on the topic of, you know, com or compliments and everything, and compliments are random, okay? So let's get that out of the way, but, and it is expensive, so I only wear this stuff so much, but those are the kind of compliments that I've gotten when I've worn love. But anyway, so this is the one that's supposed to smell like marshmallow. Now, let's get into the topic of marshmallow so you know what you're getting into if you smell this. Because there's different kinds of marshmallows, okay? Now, I was excited to try this because I would love to smell like a marshmallow that I'm thinking. And when I think marshmallow, I think of a white, gooey marshmallow. Like something on a s'more, okay? This is not that kind of marshmallow. This is not a marshmallow that is in a cereal. You eat Lucky Charms, you eat Count Chocula, you know, those very just bullshit. Okay. Well, actually, you know, I got this right here. It is not one of these kind of marshmallows that is just complete bullshit that is giving me diabetes. Okay. It is not one of those kind of marshmallows that you find in the bottom of cereal that's like very, it's not a smell like that kind of marshmallow. It is not a chocolate covered marshmallow, which to be to be completely honest, I don't even know what those are called. I only remember eating those as kids. They might not even sell it anymore. I don't know what those are called, but does anyone know what I'm talking about? You get there's like a chocolate covered marshmallow. It's like a little crusty. It's not one of those kind of marshmallows, though. Again, I don't even know if they sell it anymore. This smells like a 
can a one of those fake marshmallows that you look at in the store and they're all pastel colors and they are uh, pastel colors and sherbet colors like you know pinkish like a greenish and an orange like pink green and orange marshmallows that's what this smells like it's got that kind of like powdery kind of like one of those kind of marshmallows like a candy marshmallow it's not a real marshmallow do you does that do you get what I'm saying there so not that it smells bad because it smells good but I'm just saying misleading again I have reviewed chocolate greedy I like chocolate greedy but chocolate greedy is like a cocoa kind of like powder chocolate and with that becomes a chocolate frosting you know what I mean like a chocolate cake frosting and then becomes a chocolate so I'm just trying to like just in case the names get misleading so this is a candy sort of like a fake pink pastel sherbet kind of like colored marshmallows that you see in the store okay not that it doesn't smell good because it does that's basically what this is and it is also with that it is a fucking neroli and orange blossom orange blossom bomb say that five times fast <laughs> okay a lot of orange blossom and a lot of um, neroli in this it's huge it makes it smell fresh and clean with just a lot of marshmallow in the background um, and we'll say performance and projection this blasts off my skin for the first couple hours when you wear this so it is very strong um, I will say if you're worried about the civet note that kind of like animal pee let's call it let's just call it animal pee because that sounds funny or animal butt um, I don't get a lot of animal pee <laughs> I don't get a lot of civet in this I guess I will say maybe towards the end you get a slight bit of warmth in the fragrance which could be the civet you know what I mean making the marshmallow smell maybe a little bit more gooey but maybe that's me trying to like make the fragrance sound more interesting to myself but in reality like I said this fragrance for me is a neroli and orange blossom bomb makes it smell a fresh and clean with a lot of marshmallow but not a white marshmallow what you're thinking now in turn I think this is completely a girl fragrance it's marketed as but I will say I do not think in turn I do not think it's too girly to wear per se okay I don't think it's very girly. Like, say something like a uh, something simple. I guess you could say like Dolce and Gabbana Pour Femme. There's an intense version of that as well, right? Those are very sticky sweet. Those are fit with marshmallow. Those are very sticky sweet. Um, sticky sweet. I think that is raspberry, right? Sticky sweet like a raspberry with some marshmallow, and that is too girly to wear. I think as a man, because I've tried to wear that. That's not working. This is not too girly to wear. I don't think as a man. Like, you can wear this, you just won't smell manly, okay? And again, I have gotten compliments on it. You know what I mean? Not, nothing, like, big, though, or anything. It's not one of the biggest, you know. I've heard people say, you know, it's a lady killer. For me, personally, again, just, you know, you smell nice, you know, nothing crazy. But again, with fragrances that are this expensive, I only wear it pretty rarely. So kind of, you know, compliments can be a little rare. But yeah, so um, I think it smells nice. I it smells nice. So that's not, I, I, for me personally, I would still be looking for a my marshmallow fragrance, I guess. You know what I mean? But this is nice for what it is. I do like this. Um, next one, let's do Amber Oud. This one's this one is like I think Amber Oud is like four hundred dollars again. I know I am not super horny about by Killing's prices. I think they are overpriced. I do like the Travel Ad Monsters, okay, but uh, again, that's my opinion. I think they're ridiculously priced anyway this one only has one tier of notes it's just um Virginia cedar amber benzoin which is basically kind of like a vanilla kind of smell you know and more vanilla and West Indian Bay now the name for this is kind of misleading I think because I know I've seen this fragrance get some hate and I just want to say I actually like how this smells okay I think this smells pretty good misleading name I don't get a lot of oud at this whatsoever you know what I mean there is a little bit woody a little bit oud but if you are looking another misleading name maybe like if you're looking for a oud fragrance you know what I mean I don't think someone's gonna hate you because you smell like oud with this fragrance you know what I mean they just might not like the mix of it I don't some, think someone would be like man you feel like you smell stanky or anything I don't think you need to worry about this um I like how the smell is basically a lot of amber. That's what I got out of this. A little amber, some vanilla sweetness, you know what I mean, the benzoin, you know what I mean, with a little bit of oud. And, you know, I think it smells good. It's just so ridiculously expensive. Um, I've worn it out a couple of times, you know what I mean? I haven't worn a lot because it's expensive. 
you know, on a, the funny thing is, though, I will say I've worn this, and one person gave me a compliment, and then the next day I saw them, they said they didn't like it, okay? So that just shows you when I was wearing the same thing. So there you go, you know, so there it shows you that compliments can be random. Um, the one thing that kind of irks me about this, I don't know what was it West Indian Bay smells like, okay? I don't know what West Indian Bay smells like exactly, but I will say there is a slight... There is a green kind of note to this herbally kind of a smell to this that does kind of bother me about thinking about buying this because it just smells, it smells a little weird. Like, I mean, there's, um, I can only think there's an homage fragrance and I don't know, I can't think what it is. I'm just thinking the last time I've smelled like something herbal in a fragrance that I want. Some homage fragrance I was wearing recently and it has like oregano in it or something, you know what I mean? And it smells interesting that it's there, but... Not that I like the fragrance, whatever it is. Again, I don't remember the name. But you can smell the oregano in it, and it smells, it just smells weird and out of place to me. It just, it like, as someone that likes fragrances, it's like, oh, this smells kind of interesting, but it's not interesting in a good way to me at all. Okay, like, I can smell a green herbalness to this that smells a little strange to me, to be quite honest with you. And it kind of bothers me, it kind of bothers my stomach, because I like the fragrance besides that. Um... Again, projection and performance, like most by killings, it's pretty good, you know. It's not as strong. First blast is really strong, but nothing it dies down really quick, but um you know, per projection not that great, but longevity was good, like most by killings. I don't know, I just like it's got that herbal kind of like note to this kind of bothers me because I kinda of go back and forth on if I would buy this or not. But it's got that herbal note and I've worn it, you know, a couple of times and I've had people say that they liked it one day and didn't like it the other, so it makes me kind of worried. And again, for this kind of price, this is pretty expensive, dude. But again, I think if you like amber fragrances, though, I think this is worth checking out because I do think it smells. I think it smells nice. So, last one. I'm busting through this, guys. I'm keeping my channel active. I'm gonna do apple brandy, and then I'm gonna stop. Apple brandy, oak. Latham, cedar, and vanilla. Okay, uh, this one, honestly, let's get the performance and projection out of the way. This one, unlike most by Killians, this one did not do well for me um, performance-wise. Projection is not great, and longevity is not great. So let's get that out of the way. What did this one smell like? Well, when you first spray this one, um, apple brandy, you get like a very big, it's a very, the first blast is very zesty, very sparkling. It's a very crisp asshole. Little the asshole. It's a very crisp asshole smell. It's a very crisp apple, zesty kind of smell. A little bit of spice. I mean, it smells nice, right? Um, immediately, you know, it kind of turns into a sort of. Which let me get into the terms. Let me just say, I'll get this out of the way. In terms of like a spicy kind of, or just any kind of apple fragrance, I think just because of that vibe, spicy apple a little bit. I think if you want a spicy apple kind of vibe, I would just get that Amber Nargula from Terra de Mez, I think it is. Because I think that does apple pie better kind of thing. Not that this smells like an apple pie, but if you're just looking for a spicy apple, get that instead, okay? I know this is supposed to be something completely different, but it uh, just came to mind. Anyway, so you get, uh, after that Chris says the apple thing, you get a sort of kind of like something like a cross between apple cider a buttered caramel apple, which I don't like caramel apples, but I mean, if you like that, I don't really like apple cider either, right? But if you like that, you would like this. Um, a buttered cam caramel apple, buttered caramel apple, um, apple cider. And um, yeah, I mean, kind of like maybe almost applesauce-ish, 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 applesauce kind of smell. Um, you know, I mean, that's basically what you get. I mean, maybe it gets a little sweeter at the bottom. I mean, you know, dude, it kind of, it is what it is. It's not very, not very strong alcohol or anything like that. Just kind of smells like, um, apple cider or a mix between apple cider, applesauce, and a caramel kind of like sweet apple that you eat at fairs or whatever. But I don't like that. So, I mean, it's kind of lost on me. But I think if you like that smell, this does it well because it smells like that. I just don't like that smell, and I don't think it performs very well, so I can't recommend it. But I mean, I can't think of anything else that smells as much like apple cider or caramel apple. You know what I mean? So, is what it is. 
So that's kind of my review. Um, I guess if you like that smell, it's good, but uh, I don't like that smell. So, and review in short, um, straight to heaven. Good compliment getter. I'm gonna be honest. I I will not deny. It. I mean, I would not be if I I would like to try this more, but I mean, I bought the only big full bottle of by killing stuff, I bought back to black. And honestly, I barely even wear that. So it's hard to justify. So I just get small decants of stuff, honestly, or try it when I'm in the store. But yeah, straight to heaven. I think if you want a good compliment getter, I mean, this is one of the most talked about fragrances that I hear the girls like when I talk to the girlfriends that like fragrances. I mean, they like this. And I have gotten compliments on this, good compliments. But from older girls, I have, you know what I mean? So, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? It's, uh, imagine... Your guy. Imagine one guy's VIP man. He's the drunk. He's the drunk friend, the younger friend that is passed out of the corner. And you got your older, more masculine looking dude. I don't know how masculine I look, but let's pretend I'm super manly, okay? For a second and I'm just standing in the forest. And I'm I'm drinking, but I'm not drunk yet. Let's imagine that, right? So that's straight to heaven. Um love marshmallow. Smells good. Not amazing, but it smells good. It's not the kind of marshmallow that I'm particularly looking for, but candy pastel sherbet kind of those kind of colored marshmallows you see at the store amberwood misleading name but i think it smells pretty good besides this sort of herbal kind of note that bothers my stomach so hard to justify for me to get and apple brandy apple cider caramel apple that kind of thing anyway guys thanks for watching you can like or you, you don't have to like but if you like i would appreciate it Okay, um, thanks. I'll try to make more videos. Just busy with lots of doctor stuff lately, so that's why. Anyway, thanks.